Welcome to today's webcast discussing how you can integrate your supply chain using BI and analytics. My name is Jay Pradhan and I'm a business intelligence and analytics consultant here at Tharugod. I have drawn on my experience and expertise in the field of BI and analytics to build, bring you today's presentation. Our agenda today will start with a brief introduction to Tharugod. We will move on to discussing what it means to integrate your supply chain along with the opportunities it creates. Next, we will explore how you can leverage the power of a modern data architecture that is leveraging the cloud to service an integrated supply chain. We will then explore how analytics can be introduced into your integrated supply chain process. And finally, discussing a strategy to get you started on this journey. Hope you find this session useful. And again, please feel free to submit any questions you may have to the host. For those of you who don't know Tharagood, we are an independent niche BI and analytics services firm specializing in strategy and roadmaps, requirements, design, implementation, training, and support. We are headquartered out of London with offices all over the world. Our clients typically span four data-rich verticals, consumer goods, pharmaceuticals, and health services, banking, and insurance, with experience across the board in various functions of these verticals. In terms of technologies we work with, we are an independent consulting firm, meaning we don't work with one specific technology, we do, however, work and partner with many of the key players across the market in order to provide our clients with the solution that best suits their needs. Microsoft is one of our key partners, and I've put together some of our credentials with them. We have been a Microsoft Gold partner for over 15 years, and we are a certified data analytics platform and collaboration and content partner. In addition, we are a cloud platform certified partner as well. Our partnership gives us a great interface into Microsoft development team, allowing for open communication, both from Microsoft directly to our customers and feedback from our customers to the developers. If you're interested in working with us on any of these innovation programs listed on screen or interested in progressing a Microsoft initiative, please reach out to us and let us know. Let's start off by looking at some of the challenges faced within the supply chain universe today. It is no secret that half of a company's cost lies in the supply chain or cost of goods sold. As a result, supply chain leaders are under constant pressure to reduce costs. For example, though a company could be driving 4-5% to improvement in cost of goods sold for existing products, cost of e-commerce and new products could be on the rise, and other new products costs could be popping up across the operations. As a result, the bottom line impact might not be realized. So, even if supply chain leaders can deliver single-digit category savings in one area, costs end up ballooning in another area. This means that no noticeable or sustainable change in the bottom line is realized. And companies end up with a sense of savings fatigue across the organization. One of the main challenges as organizations expand their global footprint remains to be able to cope with the diverse supply chain models across different parts of the business, as well as different geographies. That along with servicing different sales channels requires your supply chain model to be agile and that throws up a host of challenges. Let's have a look at our two illustrations here, uh, modern trade and traditional trade. Both these supply chain models may exist in a single developing market as well. Modern trade would, would be a methodology where large retailers, the likes of a Tesco or a Walmart, uh, service the entire market. These retailers deal directly with the manufacturer and have tighter supply chains with more accurate demand sensing capabilities. A traditional trade model is used to service small to medium scale retailers. A group of these small to medium scale retailers would be serviced by a distributor with the manufacturer pushing products to the distributor. These supply chain models usually have large overheads due to poor demand sensing capabilities at a distributor level. This compels organizations to maintain higher levels of reserve stock, ballooning their working capital. These are just some of the challenges with optimizing supply chain management within organizations. Let's split the supply chain process into three buckets, source, make, and move. Sourcing would include monitoring metrics such as conformance of the raw materials on time and in full, quantity of raw materials being held, number of approved specifications, etc. You would also categorize sustainable sourcing metrics along with these KPIs in the sourcing layer, allowing you to keep tabs on the percentage sustainability of your brands. Make, as the name suggests, looks at performance of your manufacturing processes such as line efficiency, lost time incident rate, and energy efficiency, adherence to schedule, customer recalls, among others. The make bucket is critical in ensuring that large assets within the supply chain, such as manufacturing plants, 
warehouses etc are not underperforming and if they are it gets quickly identified and addressed the final bucket would be a move bucket which deals with customer serviceability metrics such as customer case fill service efficiency dispatch rate along with finished goods held at your inventory all metrics within these buckets play a huge part in supply chain planning and management diverse supply chain models will mean that these metrics will have different baselines based on the context within which these models operate let's look at some of the opportunities we've identified to improve supply chain planning processes organizations must look to leverage financial and operational data to achieve complete visibility into costs at a granular level and understand current state of spend against internal and external practices this is key to defining should costs and prioritize focus to unleash value for example instead of just looking at high level maintenance cost across the organization companies can create visibility down to sub components of maintenance financially and operationally compare across internal and external networks and understand how digital tools could further change the cost curve embracing evolving digital technology landscapes analytics opportunities organizations can enable more accurate supply chain planning by leveraging the cloud organizations could bring all three buckets of supply chain data into a single version of the truth to provide a uniform integrated view of your supply chain viewing this alongside external data would give you great context of the performance of your supply chain processes as we discussed earlier your supply chain opens a range of possibilities for an organization you can connect seemingly disparate parts of your su- supply chain to key business verticals of finance sustainability and customer management this provides the ability for an organization to gauge the impact of specific decisions on wider business goals and allows for viewing localized metrics within the larger context of the supply chain this allows the comparison and tracking of models built according to different considerations in different geographies if we look at our illustration we can see plan source make move follow a cyclic pattern of operation each of these transitions offer great opportunities to identify efficiencies that can be gained by attributing a sustainability index to each of the ingredient in your supply chain and then evaluating it for a specific recipe you could determine the sustainability of your skus traditional source metrics can help you improve sustainability by looking at kg co2 per ton produced optimizing returns and refusals one of the questions you could look at within the source and make layer would be if process efficiency can be improved by identifying fragmented spend and invoicing you could try and understand the degree of impact your claims management process is having on your working capital can the cost associated with reverse logistics be reduced by improving customer service if we are to start connecting these silos could we unearth efficiencies that weren't visible before say for example depending on current inventory forecasting of demand and corresponding logistics cost can savings be identified from shipping options for slow moving stock can loss of goods in transit due to capping issues product loading etc be used to derive a better forecast how much do non conformance rates calculated during procurement affect our customer facing quality are the number of complaints per million units alarmingly high and could this be traced back to supplier and process performance are fluctuations in consumer demand effectively serviced and how costly is it to service that deviation from the forecast does a secondary location make more sense in all of this we do identify that orchestrating a successful supply chain strategy means indulging in trade offs but can better trade offs be made when looking at things holistically now that we've discussed how an integrated supply chain can identify inefficiencies we will see how cloud technology can be used as a platform for servicing this concept supply chains face a common challenge detailed knowledge of operations is held locally creating silos organizational functional and cultural these undermine effective collaboration between different elements of the supply chain increasing the likelihood of problems emerging at a late stage and limiting options for response by enabling a network view digitization can help companies capture huge savings and competitive advantages by fostering network processes optimizing complete enterprise of individual functions and driving new ways of thinking and working by enhancing visibility collaboration and innovation 
as supply chain managers treat target greater efficiencies a cloud based strategy can be used to enhance cost improvements and performance here we have an example of a modern data architecture leveraging the cloud here you can see different data sources can be brought together to create a curated data lake this then serves as a base for building analytics initiatives as well as surfacing those insights via dashboards we have used azure as a medium to discuss our example here but this is more or less vendor agnostic as the diagram represents we use integration runtime to bring data from an on premise file share into the cloud environment these files then get processed using different orchestration tools and uh, are stored in a database or a data warehouse depending on requirements of your organization this data can then be surfaced using a host of reporting tools establishing a control tower to coordinate and orchestrate elements that make up the supply chain and provide a central forum for orchestrating visibility and actions coming out of the dashboard this forum also integrates inputs from different analytics capabilities that you can bring into your integrated supply chain providing inputs for management reviews and enabling executive decision making having showcased the benefits of a control tower we look at how these different three different buckets of supply chain can rely on analytics initiatives to feed insights into the control tower for further orchestration the first stage would be demand sensing the more accurate we can make our demand sensing models realizing downstream value with better customer serviceability upstream value can get realized with reduced working capital requirements in the make silo we could use production optimization techniques and predictive maintenance models which would increase production efficiencies reducing downtime for production lines and improving asset utilization in our downstream section of the supply chain warehouse optimization can help you reduce warehousing cost and provide exact visibility of stock held and other relevant kpis making last mile supply chain models much more effective your control tower then sits on top of all of the three elements of your digital value chain and does real time integration and optimization within and across enterprise sites and external environment sites having introduced you to the concept of a digital value chain let's look at how you can go about integrating analytics into your processes demand sensing as we've discussed can leverage statistical models and ai in coming up with more accurate forecasts other elements of your supply chain such as production efficiency production planning quality analysis and warehouse optimization can be tuned using analytical models let's look at an example of this accurate forecasting is a key ability to ensure competitive advantage for manuf- for every manufacturer improving forecasting capability should be a continuous effort in which periodic or continuous forecasting performance evaluation is an important element forecasting demand is challenging due to three main reasons noise and volatility of demand in the market introduction of new products and product promotions promotions forecasting evaluation is performed based on a three pronged measurement framework performance is measured in terms of forecasting accuracy forecasting bias and forecasting stability each of these measurements use several metrics care should be taken to use the most suitable performance metrics for this purpose improving forecasting accuracy can lead to reduction of excess inventory lower labor costs lower expedited costs holding costs spoilage discount and reduction of stock outs it is crucial to recognize that analytical model must be an operations process activity and not a statistical modeling exercise for results to be more accurate due to time pressures we are not going to go into too much detail on this topic if you are interested in finding out more please feel free to reach out to us or have a look at some of our content on the website let's look at what would you need to to get started on your data strategy the first know your data sources having a holistic view of the raw data sources of your data where where they come from their refresh schedules etc would be incredibly beneficial in un- in determining your application's complexity are you looking at just one source from sap are you looking at trying to merge your internal and external data sources together what is the desired refresh frequency further to that point know your existing systems and technologies from a data perspective there may be an existing data model or two within your organization that you can leverage for your expected business intelligence need 
or maybe none of the models truly work with your requirement and you determine you need a ground up approach either way doing the due diligence is the most thorough way forward is your organization expecting new tools to be brought into the mix that you could leverage could your system benefit from being in the cloud do you require mobile capability while knowing existing systems and tools is a benefit if you can utilize the latest and relevant technology then plan for it newer applications like anaplan are becoming more prevalent due to their ease of setup and intuitive interfacing another important consideration is to understand who your audience is for the system what role would you expect people to have and does that come with any kind of security consideration knowing your audience is crucial for business application success as an extension to your audience knowing their roles and responsibilities will further drive front end requirement and build what will people need to be doing with this information does it need to be presented weekly for uh, meetings do you need an excel export or a pdf requirement so that your information can be sent out to third parties uh, what actions are you expecting people to take after initially viewing the system and then finally look at timeline now that you have a view of your sources technologies audience front end requirements polish your business case with an expectation on time to market an expected outcome from the product maybe even go as far as calculating a return on investment metric for management while this hopefully helps you define the areas you need to do investigation on uh, let me give you a head start on some of these by based off of our experience having delivered multiple solutions in this space from a data sourcing perspective look at both internal and external sources many supply chain systems will take erp data likely from sap sales data can often be found in a crm database of some kind like salesforce uh, and any reference or master data will be crucial in ensuring your data is viewed and categorized in, a, in the correct way external data sources can be pretty far reaching consumer point of sales is huge consumer habits can be found through panel and survey data competitor sales similar to sourcing consumer sales and then finally market research and social media sentiment social media sentiment is becoming more popular as a source for real time analytics applications we've seen the following roles and responsibilities in a supply chain management system supply and demand managers are the most common uh additionally you will have other project managers in the space seeing a project through from order to completion with finance we generally see different users with different levels of approval there's a finance analysis side of the supply chain management with respect to financial feasibility and a sign off process for certain pricing and promotions salesforce uh sales folk are customer facing uh and they may require additional applications or screens which can be accessed externally from your network for example an online portal where customers can order additional products or a set of dashboards for monthly reporting marketing is fairly similar to sales uh, but may include additional internal analysis for ripe for automation uh they there's also a fair bit of modeling to compare one self to the market as a whole and potentially specifically by competitor there are more of course uh, this is just a sampling of the most common roles we find benefit from applications in this space cloud computing is now recognized as a game as a real game changer providing a route through which supply chain executives can rapidly and efficiently access innovation supply chain solutions delivered through a software as a service model and deploy them at scale driven by growing realization that benefits of these solutions provide the software as a service for the supply chain management market is predicted to reach a 19% compounded annual growth rate in 2019 to become a 5.2 billion dollar opportunity thank you for joining us today please don't hesitate to reach out to us with any questions and have a great day